Uh, we are keeping a close eye on, on what would otherwise have been a stunning development. The President of the United States talking about a federal gas tax as much as 25 cents a gallon. Uh, a lot of Republicans are aghast at that. But, you know, the Gipper had a gas tax back in 1983 that lifted a uh, federal tax. I think nine cents, a little bit more than nine cents a gallon. Former Reagan economic advisor Art Laffer. You know, Republican Congress went along with that. The argument was that the, you know, our highway trust was, was badly depleted, needed the money. Uh, could this Republican president solve the same thing? Possibly. I mean, he could well do that. Uh, I, I opposed it when the Gipper did it back then, and I, I would oppose it now. We don't need more taxes. But uh, the gas tax is one of the more innocuous taxes in the system. But, uh, you know, Drew Lewis said it was a user fee. Gas taxes are not user fees, by the way. Uh, you can't build a bridge with a, with a gas tax. Otherwise, you'd have the cars going off at the end. Uh, I, don't think we, I don't think we need a gas tax, and I don't think it's going to get through right away. But uh, of all the taxes, that's one of the least damaging taxes. You know, uh, I, I had someone uh, talking about this, I think, yesterday, who was saying, well, as long as we, we, we could make sure that it only went into, oh, it was Hood, that's what the former transportation secretary said, we'd have to put it in a proverbial lockbox so that would only be for infrastructure, roads, bridges, whatever. I know how that lockbox thing works. Uh, someone else always yeah. finds the key. And I'm worried about that. If I... It, if it went to just those purposes, I might even consider it, as if my, my opinion yeah. means anything. But it never does, right? Well, I don't think you ever want to lock a tax with an expenditure item. I don't really think you need to. What you want to do is collect your taxes in the least damaging fashion and spend the money in the most beneficial fashion. And for the chance of that happening perfectly between a gas tax and highway funds just doesn't make sense but, at and all. And something is going with the money that we already provide for infrastructure, you know, through tolls and, uh, you know, excise taxes, fees, state gasoline and other related taxes. It's better than 100 you know, billion dollars a year. And I'm wondering, where is that money going? Because that alone uh, should be taking care of a lot of this stuff. So I, I, I wonder first, before we commit more money, can we not take better care of watching the dollars and cents that are going on now? I'm 100 percent with you. I mean, we ought to watch it much more carefully. And we don't need more taxes right now, Neil. Believe me when I tell you we don't. Uh, but again, this is one of the more innocuous taxes in the system. But I, I, I think the Republicans, if they were smart, would use this to negotiate with the Democrats on sort of a global warming issue, because the, obviously the global warming people love a gas tax enormously. And uh, that's perhaps to get some concessions from the Democrats to get a gas tax, but yeah. uh, politically there. But we don't need any more taxes right now. We've just got the big, big bill, the tax bill through. We've got deregulation, Neil. Uh, you know, we've got uh, spending sitting out there that's a problem. Uh, but what we really need to do is focus on the dollar and making sure we get king dollar. And this gas tax is a diversion. And plus, I don't think it's going to pass this year. I mean, can you imagine the Republicans passing a gas tax hike just before an election? Yeah, it won't I, happen I, this I, year. It's not happening. It doesn't make year. any sense to Real me. Real quickly, while I've got you, uh, sure. Steve Mnuchin made some news unexpectedly uh, speaking before the House Ways and Means Committee today, ostensibly about budget items. Then the issue of the shooting came up, in which he said that maybe uh, Congress should act on gun violence. He wasn't more specific than that. But there does seem to be a dividing line among some Republicans that seem to say it's not that uh, we can't entertain or look at reining in maybe dangerous guns that go beyond what, let's say, hunters need or so that we don't go beyond what our forefathers wanted. Um, how do you feel about that? Are Republicans in a box on this? Should they show some flexibility on this? Should Democrats then show some flexibility on game violence, Hollywood movie violence, that sort of thing? And is that the making of a middle ground position? I don't really know. You're way above my pay grade on guns. Uh, I don't understand the issue very well, and I'd really oh, not. You I don't, I don't know liar. what the right you is. You have a set point of view. I know you have a point of view. I don't have a point of view. I'm an economist. I, <laughs> I, you know, you want to match incentives here, and you want to make sure things are as safe as you possibly can, given the costs. And, you know, I understand that gun violence is down over the last 40 or 50 years dramatically, but uh, it's way above my pay grade. And I'm but sorry, no, 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 just to be clear, just to be clear, I'm not, I really don't mean to go the little young. This, but a, an AR-15, you know, that's a pretty serious weapon that could, you know, kill Bambi a thousand times over. So I'm wondering whether therein lies the potential for the Republicans here, who have this reputation of being, you know, at the mercy of the gun lobby, to say, no, this is where 
we're going to draw a line. What do you think? I don't really know. I honestly don't. Right. I don't have a gun. I don't use guns. Now, my kids all love guns. They have right. them. You know, it's a, it's a complicated issue, but it is, it is really okay. ahead of my game. Pay right. grade, Neil. That's Sorry a non-answer, that. Art Laugh. Right, I thank know. You. I don't want no, to answer that you. question. Thank you. You and get me on economics, and I've got I the answer for that, everything. I, I threw that at you. But, you know, it is about economics. Because the gun lobby gives a lot to Republicans. All right. Well, you know, the gun lobby gives a lot to Republicans. But thank you, Art Laffer. But, uh, but, I, but I've been a Democrat as much. Much of my life, Neil, as I have been a Republican. Seriously. All right. Well, that's good to know. You know, I'm a Kennedy Democrat. I thought Clinton was a great president. Sure. I thought Reagan was wonderful, and I think Trump's doing a great, great okay. job. You still haven't answered my question, but that's okay. <laughs> no, I haven't. Art Laffer, thank, thank you. you very, very much. <laughs> my pleasure. All